Hey guys, so uh, I just got done watching the Star Wars Rebels Season 3 premiere and uh, I thought this was a really good premiere to a new, uh, to the new season. It wasn't big and grandiose as we thought it would be, but it was the perfect thing to get the viewers back into the, into the groove of things. You know, it's been like six months since the last episode aired. And I am pretty excited to review because a lot of change and, and I record in HD now. And I have a good microphone, so what does that do? Anyways, so the episode begins with Ezra. Now, we've all seen the clip and he was, uh, he's gotten way better. Seriously, uh, he, his Jedi skills are amazing. He's become a very skilled Padawan and I wouldn't be surprised if by the end of, uh, by the end of this uh, season, he, he's, he, he, if he doesn't turn to the dark side, which is heavily implied he does, he turns into a, uh, into a Jedi Knight. So, Ezra is really good with his lightsaber. And so, the mission is they rescue, uh, they rescue Hondo Onaka from uh, an Imperial prison on, uh, I forgot what they called the planet. And uh, they rescue him and an Ugnaught uh, co-conspirator the Agnaka conspirator dies, but they do have information to a secret base which houses Y-Wings. And we all know Y-Wings from A New Hope and uh, some, briefly in The Empire Strikes Back and of course in Return of the Jedi. So, uh, they, were, so they, they go to steal them. Originally it's a scout mission, but they find out they're destroying them. And they meet some Ugnaughts and and they, they, they agree to help them out, and uh, Admiral, I can't pronounce his name, but uh, he was the Admiral from the episodes uh, where, where the Star where the top secret Star Destroyer are pulling stuff out of the gravity wells. He was in that, and uh, he kind of dies in this episode. And, uh, but more importantly, the Phantom gets destroyed, which was, uh, which we've seen in the trailer that the Phantom was going to be replaced, so now we know why. <laughs> gone, which is weird since we're getting a new Phantom in Lego. Could be the new one. It could be uh, the replacement ship, which looks like a Separatist uh, shuttle, which we remember from Revenge of the Sith. So, uh, anyways, so on to uh, Kanan is, is been isolating himself and he meets someone called the Bendu. Now, the Bendu is voiced by the legendary Tom Baker. He's legendary to me because he is a uh, He's the guy who played the fourth Doctor on Doctor Who, and he's the most iconic uh, person to play the Doc. Well, one of the most iconic. Uh, I don't know about now if he's still uh, most iconic. But uh, so, anyways, so they steal the Y wings. They steal a handful, and uh, they put them onto that destroyer. And it was a pretty cool space battle. I liked it. I have no idea how they're gonna separate these episodes, but uh, we'll see. So there wasn't much with Maul, which I was shocked by, and. Bendu teaches Kanan to, uh, to see without seeing, really, it's difficult. He teaches him how to, uh, you know, do a lot of stuff and, uh, you know, it's really interesting to see Kanan because those spiders didn't attack him, so maybe Kanan is more in tune with the Force. Maybe Ezra has been on the dark side since, has been going down the path of the dark side since maybe, uh, maybe in season two, so... Uh, so with, uh, I like how Rex calls them clankers. That gave me some Clone Wars nostalgia with the droids. Uh, there's a lot of stuff to talk about here. I'm not scripted, so. Uh, so they, eventually they get the ships, and everyone probably watched this episode to see the reintroduction of Grand Admiral Thrawn, and Thrawn was very limited in this episode. I hate to, I would, I wouldn't want to say I'm disappointed. I'm sorry for that. Uh. I wouldn't want to say I'm disappointed by Thrawn's appearance, but uh, uh, I, I want to say that it was uh, it was lackluster in the way of uh, him actually doing a lot, because I was expecting him to do more. No, but uh, Thrawn really proved himself to be an interesting character, and uh, I bet he's going to be like the best part of the show, because I hate for him to be like another one of those Inquisitors with their personality. This, but so anyways, Thrawn has been. Uh, Thrawn doesn't really do much, but uh, Governor Price does, and Tarkin is heavily involved in this, which is giving me more... I, I, I'm seeing more on the Imperial side, more confidence than before. 
And before it was just a bunch of loose officers. Now it's, it feels more like an empire and more threatening villains. So eventually Ezra steals the Y Wings from uh, from uh, from Ezra and, Squ and Phoenix Water steal the Y Wings, and they they get them to that uh, transport they stole. So every episode does matter. So. Uh, so, so they get them off and they go back to the base and Ezra admits and Kanan lets the Bendu keep uh, keep the Sith holocron and I am really liking how the rebellion is really starting to shape out but I kind of wish they would like just already form the rebel alliance I guess Thrawn is going to be the big threat that brings every rebel group together I was really hoping to see X-Wings by this point but I guess that's a little bit too much and I was kind of hoping for the uh, for the B-Wings to be used more, but that's just the little bit of plot points. But that doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things. Those are just minor nitpicks. Uh, I like how they introduced the Wild. I'm kind of disappointed that they're not really being uh, being used for that uh, uh, in, in the show. But I'm pretty sure they'll be used later on because we did see some. I think there might be they might be used again once more in this series. So. Uh, on to, so, next episode is going to be the confrontation with Maul. And I'm very excited to see what they're going to do with Darth Maul and this character. I like how the characters have grown. They're different from when they began in the first uh, episode. So, it's really interesting to see. And I really want to see what happens to Ezra. Because it looks like he might not go down to the dark side. But he may do. And one thing I'm excited to see is that Sabine and her with the dark saber. Because the dark saber was a really awesome lightsaber. Well, it's technically not. I I don't really know what it is, but uh, it's going to be really cool to see the dark saber again. So I don't know if that'll be introduced next week. Could couldn't be. I don't know. But uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed tonight's episode. And uh, uh, I also want to touch on the book review aftermath. Uh, uh, what can I say? There's just been a lot of complications, and it's been a very busy busy night, and it's been, been a very busy week. So I should. Uh, the main problem is I just haven't read the book and I haven't found time. It's very consuming being a teenager. So I'll see you guys on the next video later. Uh, like, share, and subscribe. Peace out.